Hello everyone and welcome to the Morning Market Review. Today is Thursday and it is the 11th of May 2023. My name is Russell Shaw. I'm a Senior Market Specialist at FXM and my email address is rshaw at fxm.com. Just going to go ahead and bring up our disclaimers. I'm going to start off with the high risk investment warning. I'll keep this on screen for a few moments. Okay, thank you very much. And here is our market commentaries disclaimer. And uh, our references. So we'll do today's work on Market Scope 2.0. Just going to go ahead and bring up the first chart. And uh, what we're going to be doing is looking at the zones, uh, specifically at NASDAQ 100 and the uh, and we'll look at the Dow Jones as well. Okay. Um, okay, so let's put in the zones. Uh, remember, we're on the monthly chart here, so we'll put in zone one. Okay, here is zone two. And here is zone three. And we had a, um, a vicious bear market uh 2022 into 2023 it went into when i say it the nasdaq 100 monthly went into zone three uh, that generally is um, a time to look to see if there is value around it looks as if there might indeed have been some value and it has now popped into zone two and uh, we'll wait to see if it continues into zone one Something to keep an eye on is the RSI. The RSI has popped above 50. It's on the bullish side of 50 on the monthly time frame. And um, if it continues to uh, position itself above 50, below 80, I think then there is a good chance that we do see the NASDAQ moving towards zone one on the monthly. All right, let's go down to the weekly chart. Okay, so this is the weekly chart. Again, let's put the zones in here. And you can see we are in zone one. And uh, that's the bullish zone. Here's zone two. And here is zone three. And again, um, what I'd like you guys to do is just keep an eye on this RSI. It's above 50, below 80. Smooth sailing. Okay, as long as we stay on the bullish side of 50 and maintain in zone one, then there is an upwards momentum. Um, that is supportive of the Nasdaq 100. Let's go down to the uh, let's go down to the daily chart now. Okay, so this is the daily chart. We're getting quite granular. You can see there was a movement sideways and then a weakness, and we temporarily pushed into zone three on the daily. But now take a look. It's pumped from zone three into zone two, back into zone one, and it's looking like it's finding its feet there right and uh, again what's happening with the RSI it's spending the majority of its time on the bullish side of 50 you can see there was a slight dip here that slight dip let's change the color slight dip coinciding with the weakness going into zone 3 but that zone 3 very short-lived uh, big candlestick up big candlestick up again and it now looks as if we are um, in zone one. Um, it's certainly showing an expansion in the Bollinger Bands. So the top Bollinger Band is pushing up, the bottom Bollinger Band is pushing down. So we're getting that expansion in volatility. Let's take a look at the US 30. Okay, so here's the US 30 monthly chart. You can see that the bear market from 2022 into 2020. To the end of 2022 uh, took us to zone three um, and then we have found some value moving from zone three back into zone two and the RSI is on the bullish side of 50. Let's go uh, down a, a level let's take a look at the weekly. Okay so here's the weekly chart of the US 30 the Dow Jones and you can see that it is in zone two. So whilst we had the NASDAQ in zone one, between the upper blue and the upper red, we've got the 
uh, the Dow Jones, the US 30 between the two blues, it's in its neutral area. And just keep an eye on the RSI. The RSI here looks to be faltering, heading back towards 50. And in fact, if we kind of push it back to all the way back to July 2022, uh, there does seem to be an oscillation around 50. That oscillation around 50 very much showing consolidate consolidation congestion. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the daily chart. Okay, so this is the daily chart and we are in neutral, right? We're in zone two between the two blue and um, you can see that the RSI is oscillating around 50. So there's this sideways movement. If you take a look at yesterday's price action, long legged doji uncertainty definitely not as strong as the nasdaq the nasdaq 100 showing relative strength against the us 30 okay that's where we'll end it for today thank you very much for joining me